I work within the Heart Centre uh, primarily with people who are being worked up for a transplant and also with people who are being uh, worked up for a ventricular assist device and with people who've had a heart transplant um, that are recovering from it, that may have just been recovering from it or have been recovering for a long time. So the scope is right from the beginning of their illness right through to after their transplant and going home. Um, these patients and families come to us incredibly stressed. They're worried about their loved ones, they're worried about themselves, they don't know what the future is going to hold and sometimes you get to know them very, very well and incorporating humour is an important part of, of them uh, feeling like they're part of the team and involved. So how are you doing today? I see um, the patient-centred part of my role as being the one person who they get to know quite well, who's there every day, who explains things to them, who uh, keeps the plan on track, uh, makes sure that the different teams that are coming understands the plan, uh, helping the team to develop a good care plan so that the patient stays right at the centre. That is something that's central to my role. About uh, nine years ago or so, we started a monthly nursing rounds where um, nurses got together and presented stuff that they were doing, that nurses were doing. Now every month we have uh, a webinar nursing rounds that's been across the country. And I think our last webinar, we had over 150 nurses from all over Canada join uh, the webinar. So we're kind of seeing that we really are becoming national leaders in cardiac education for nurses. I nominated Anne-Marie because when I think of the Mission Awards, I think of um, somebody who gives everything to their job and to this hospital, and Anne-Marie does that. She has dedicated her life um, to the Heart Centre, uh, not only to the, the patients that she sees, but also to the nurses that she works with. As soon as I met her, I knew I wanted to come and work with her and uh, learn from her. She's been my biggest mentor and coach and, um, and role model. We had a patient uh, some time ago who had a ventricular assist device, a woman in her 50s who had two children, teenage children. Things didn't go so well. We knew that uh, it would be a matter of days before she died. And we were trying to work with the kids to help them work through the impending loss. We decided to break all the rules and give the kids a bunch of paint and crayon and stuff and let them draw all over the wall in the room. She was in a private room. And it was kind of beautiful because the wall became this sort of huge message of love for her. Every day I think I'm so lucky to have this job. Um, you know, there's nothing better than to uh, go and see a patient the day they're going home and they've been in hospital for three or four months. Um, and there's been times that they didn't think they were going to make it and lots of ups and downs and I think the reward of having them say thank you we couldn't have gotten through this without your support is, is huge and I just feel so thankful to uh, have a job where I can go home and think wow I actually helped someone out today.